Hi guys, Gam for Arach here. Today we find ourselves up above the Honest Estate mine, which you can see just in the bottom there. Car park's full of cars, it's a lovely day. This is the Wednesday in between Christmas and New Year, so hope you've all had a good Christmas and here's to a, a good 2017. But today we're uh, planning on camping in the Haystacks area, not in Omina Tarn, but there are, there are a few other little tarns around it. So hopefully we'll find ourselves a pitch in that area. But firstly, we're going to have a visit to uh, Dub's Hut Bothy. It's been uh, renovated since we last visited. So we'll have a good look around that. So we'll bring you back along the journey. Dub's Hood Bothy and the basic show that it is got two, three camp beds and slate seating around the perimeter. But there's plenty of floor space if you have to get on the stone flags. But it's shelter and that's the main thing. No fireplace, fireplace has been uh, bricked up, would have had a fireplace at one stage and that's what it looked like in 1860. Probably just a slate worker's quarryman's shelter. Dub's Hood MBA Ooh, Just met a party there of about 15 lads that were going to be stopping in one scale head so they're going to be crammed in there tonight We've got a little wind of you out the back there Looking out onto here, stacks. There's the water source, guys, right out the hill. A beautiful little bothy. Lovely little place. It's even got its own little patio area. <laughs> oh, this must have been another room at some stage. There's a little open air fire pit there with a fire bottom in. So you are permitted to have a fire there, I would imagine. A 
Yeah, but a cracking little find on route in. Little pulley wheel or something. Made into a gear. Gosh, layers you see, up. If the bothy was full, there's some cracking level pitches out here. Yep. Well, that's dubs up, guys. <coughs> This is one of the possibilities for tonight. See the clag blowing up and across Great Gable there. Silence. There are quite a few people out today. Walking off the Christmas dinners, I would imagine. ourselves a pitch anyway we're in the staker tonight we just tucked in here in the heather the sun's just on the flanks of fleet with pike there and the wind is bitter so I'm expecting a good frost tonight because the skies have really cleared out but Diane's just going across to explore. There's a precarious boulder. It's just on the horizon there. But we 
the pitch do you just up above uh, black beck tarn there is a lovely pitch down on the side of it but it was too soon when we arrived and we just didn't want to be an ob ob you know obtrusive for other people who were out visiting and walking but i am up in there nice little pitch below that rock face but boy has the temperature dropped Ooh. it's freezing it really is cool that's the view from the rock face up above guys so we just not that far from the summit of here stacks Blackbeck town there in the bottom Soon just catching the flanks of Kirk Fell. Great gable. But sadly we're behind this <laughs> outcrop here so there won't be much of a sunset tonight. But beautiful nonetheless. for a little bit of a stroll before we have a bit of tea wow that's stunning with the early evening light just diminishing Well, we've had a cracking overnight at here, just up above Blackbeck Town. Really enjoyed that. Silent for minutes and then massive, like, oh, big, big gusts. And then silent, and you could hear it coming in the distance. It was like a train coming. Weird weather, weird. But yeah, that's where we were at last night, guys. Just camped in among the heather. So we'll walk out via the tarn and we'll see what's what. But yeah, cracking night up here in these little rocks. Use them for a bit of a wind break, but the wind must have changed direction in the night. So we're getting some good gusts. Right, so we'll head out. This could be the last camp for 2016. We'll have to wait and see. Today is the 29th. Thursday the 29th, yeah. So we'll see. There's still time to sneak another one in, I suppose, but we'll wait and see. <laughs> 